Hey everyone, this is Lawrence from Hollywood Tech. Clearly you can see what we'll be talking about today. In this video, we will guide you through the basic operations and setup of the new Solidcom C1, full duplex wireless headset intercom system with hub. Here we go. I've actually put the headset on my head, as you guys can see, as simple as that. All right, so the hub is a key part of the hub system. It can actually be powered up by three different methods. The DC adapter on the back, uh, two L-series batteries slots we got, and or a V-mount or G-mount battery. What's great about it is that you can actually power the system up uh, with all three powering methods together. When the device adopts multiple power supply methods, if any power supply is disconnected, the device can continue to work. For example, there are two MPF battery slots here. If one of them run out of juice, the other one will keep powering the hub on. Now let's power the hub on. Today we're using the MPF 970. Put it on, switch on. The next step is putting the battery into the battery compartment of the headset. This is the battery compartment. You open it, put the battery in, lock it, and here is uh, the headset switch. Switch it on, put it on your head, push the microphone boom down, and then you're ready to go. When the light of the headset microphone turns green, it means that the headset and the hub are successfully connected and we can see the status on the display of the hub. When the microphone is pushed down like this, we can communicate with the team. And when the microphone is raised over about actually 60 degrees, it will be automatically turned off. You can actually hear a small like, click sound when it is being turned on or off. If more headsets are being used, communications within crew members become more complicated. And we have the grouping feature for the hub system to separate the headsets uh, and the hub into A and or B groups. Each group has its own channel and they don't interfere the communications of each other. For group settings, all we need to do is to connect our computer with the hub via the RG45 cable. We can then set the IP address and open the configuration page for further settings. The light of A and or B button on the headset will turn orange after it is assigned to the group, and then we are ready to communicate with other members in the same group. We can click the button to join in the group or exit it. Plus, the hub system comes with the UAC USB audio class function which means that we can connect the hub to our personal computer with a USB Type-C cable to enable real-time remote communications via conference apps such as Zoom, Skype, Teams, and etc. And multiple sets of the hub systems can be custodied to expand the numbers of headsets and bring more people to the communication group the hub supports two cascading methods, four-wire analog signal cascading and IP digital signal cascading. Generally, when we need to cascade two sets, the four-wire analog cascading is recommended, while for three sets, IP digital signal cascading is recommended. And if we combine two methods, basically, we can cascade as many hub systems as we want and bring as many crew members as we want to the talking group. For the four-wire cascading method, connect the two hubs with a standard network cable, Cat5e recommended, via the four-wire interface. These two ports are four-wire ports, as you can tell from the markings. The maximum length of the network cable is 300 meters. On one hub, don't press the menu button to enter the line sequence switching and select it to standard while the other hub chooses cross-underline sequence switching. 
For the IP cascading method, connect the two hubs with a standard network cable Cat5e recommended via the RG45 interface. These four ports are RG45 ports. Either one will work. The maximum length of the network cable is 300 meters. Enter the menu on one of the hubs and choose network. Set the IP address automatic to off. Enter M and R and select master device. On the other hub, Enter M and R and select Remote Device, and then select Scan. The IP address of the master hub will appear on the remote hub. Select and confirm the IP address. Last, let's talk about the Announce feature. The Announce feature basically means muting all other headsets so they can only listen to the wire headset connected to the hub and cannot communicate with each other. All we need to do to activate this feature is to push the Announce key on the hub so the whole crew can hear the direct instructions or commands from the hub in case of an emergency. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial on our new Solidcon C1 full duplex wireless headset intercom system with hub. We aren't able to get into a lot of details today, so leave us a comment or reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook by Hollyland Tech if you have any other questions. And please don't forget to subscribe if you find this type of videos helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.